All right, so today we are gonna be breaking down the Extreme Z Awakening details for nine different units that are all gonna be dropping on both Global and JP within the next 12 hours or so, probably less by the time you're watching this. And they are the LR Beerus and Whis, Tech Whis, Int Beerus, uh, Int Godku, Int Whis, STR Rage Vegeta, AGL Godku, STR God Ku, and finally the STR Super Saiyan Blue Goku as well. I want to give a massive shout out to Minato's Flash on Twitter for providing us with the translations for all of these units. Uh, he obviously put a lot of work into this and um, this video would not be possible without him. So thank you Minato and make sure to go follow him if you haven't done so already. And one last thing before we get into it is that I want you guys to take a look at a new mobile game that I've actually been playing a ton recently and just really enjoying. Check it out. This video is brought to you by Avatar Generations, a new free-to-play mobile game based on Avatar The Last Airbender, which is my personal favorite TV show of all time, available on your iOS and Android devices right now. I've been playing this game a bunch over the past couple of days and I am absolutely loving it. You can play as your favorite Avatar characters from Aang, to Zuko, to Suki, Yatso, and many, many more. Each character comes with unique skills and beautiful animations. The gameplay is intuitive and fun. The voice acting is superb and the music is on point. It's basically everything that a hardcore Avatar fan like me could ever dream of. There's tons to do in this game from exploring the nations to collecting new heroes to participating in weekly events and they're constantly updating the game with new content and new heroes so that you'll never get bored so what are you waiting for go click on the link in my description to download avatar generations right now so let's start with the unit that is probably the most anticipated out of the entire batch and the one that is Getting a lot of attention recently, not necessarily for the best reasons, and that is the STR Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma slash Rage Vegeta. Now as far as stats go, after the Extreme Z Awakening, they'll max out at 13,067 HP, 16,779 attack, and 11,709 defense. Overall, um, quite good, I would say, for a non dokkan Fest unit. Now popping over to his details. Uh, after the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill will be uh, Super Class key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage and seals super attack. Passive, key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 122% and then key plus 1 and defense plus 122% and high chance to perform a critical hit when there is another Vegeta's family category ally attacking in the same turn other than this character. And then defense plus 80% for 4 turns after receiving an attack, damage received from normal attacks minus 40%, encounters with tremendous power, rages when conditions are met. And of course his links and categories did the same as before. So the main complaint about this unit that uh, I've been seeing from a lot of people is the fact that he doesn't get a lot of attack. He does greatly raise attack with his super, but it's only for one turn, so it doesn't stack. And um, on his passive, he's only getting 122%, which seems pretty low for, you know, this day and age, right? Uh, but of course, I think the reason that they limited his attack boost is because he has the counters, right? And uh, each counter will be doing a decent amount of damage so if you're in an event where he's able to take multiple hits in a turn then he should be still putting out a very respectable amount of damage but if I was being honest I do wish that he got more of an attack boost obviously um, I think the most you'll see from a super attack is like somewhere in the range of I'm not sure actually probably like four mil four or five mil something like that which is not nothing but it's definitely not great right and of course if you don't get the counters off then he's really not hitting very hard so um overall i think it's a fine extreme z awakening but 
not amazing. Definitely uh, underperforms as far as expectations go, right? I think a lot of people were really expecting a lot from this EZA, and uh, in that sense, I guess it didn't really deliver, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible. So um, yeah, good amount of defense. I like that. Of course, the uh, damage reduction against normals is key because you want him to be taking normals without dying. And uh, I think his damage output will still be quite good with the counters. So that is the STR Rage Vegeta as far as the Rage mode goes. Um, I think this is a little bit different. So for the Rage Vegeta, it's a one turn like giant form basically or Rage form. And uh, the super attack greatly raises attack temporarily and causes supreme damage and lowers defense. And passive is key plus one and attack plus 122%. Obviously in this form, you can't take damage. So that is the Vegeta, and if I'm going too fast, I apologize, but I'm trying to get through this as efficiently as possible with 9 EZAs, right? So now we have the STR Godku, uh, stats 19,706 HP, 16,558 attack, and 9,174 defense. His leader skill will be all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%. Uh, super attack, supreme damage, and raises attack and defense by 50% for 3 turns. And then passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 120%, attack and defense plus 80%. When performing a super attack, performs an additional attack which has a medium chance to become a super attack when HP is 59% or above. Attack and defense plus 10% up to 50% and reduces damage received by 6% up to 30% with each attack. Uh, it says received here, but I'm pretty sure that Minato put a amendment that uh, changed it to each attack performed instead of received. So a uh, slight error there, but otherwise um, everything else is correct. And I would say uh, from what I can see with the God Coup, the STR God Coup, I think he's going to be putting out some pretty good damage. Uh, obviously the additional potential additional super is good. And uh, defensively, um, I mean, he's raising attack and defense by 50%. And this can be stacked a little bit, a little bit, right, for three turns. So um, I think overall, yeah, he's going to perform pretty well. Uh, nothing crazy, but I wasn't expecting, like, outrageous things from this guy anyways. So I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to be fine. So that is the STR God Coup. Next up, we have Int God Ku, HP 17,555 HP, uh, attack 16,268, and defense 10,260. Leader skill, Int and SDR types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Uh, super attack greatly raises defense. For one turn, it causes supreme damage and lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 180%. When HP is 50% or more at the start of turn, a high chance to perform up to two additional attacks. Attack and defense plus 20% up to 100% with each attack performed. And then every time this character performs three attacks during battle, attacks effective against all types for the next turn. That's interesting. That is a pretty um, unique aspect, I guess, to this unit. And uh, I like it. I like it. So. Uh, pretty solid. I do think the STR God Coup is a little bit better just with the damage reduction, but Int God Coup is definitely good in its own way. Uh, and lastly, for the God Coups, we have the AGL God Coup, and for some reason I couldn't open the link to Minato's translation, so we're using the Dokkan Wiki for this one. Leader skill, all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage. And passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when HP is 59% or more, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to 50%, and then chance of performing a critical hit plus 6% with each attack received up to 30%. Oh, actually, I think... Does this guy have the exact same passive as the STR God Coup? It looks like it. They're, they're definitely very, very similar. Okay, uh, next up we have the Int Beerus. Um, HP 16,589, attack 15,613, and defense 11,061. And uh, his leader skill is going to be Int Types Key Plus. Sorry, Int Typed Attack plus 35% per Int Key Sphere obtained. 
12 key or just super attack, supreme damage, and raises defense by 50% for 6 turns. And passive is attack and defense plus 150% when performing a super attack, attack plus 30%, up to 150% with each attack performed. When there is a Bond of Master and Disciple category ally, other than this character attacking the same turn, it key plus 1 and performs an additional attack, which has a high chance to become a super attack. Attacks effective against all types when target enemy is in attack down, defense down, sealed or stunned status. So, one thing that's kind of interesting is that uh, this guy cannot lower the enemy's defense or attack or seal them or stun them. So he does need another unit with those capabilities to, you know, trigger this attacks effective against all types section of his passive, right? Um, aside from that, uh, he's definitely not getting a lot of defense on his passive. He does get a lot of defense on his super attack. The 50% for 6 turns is pretty crazy, but um, early on, he will definitely be a liability defensively for sure. But once he's built up, I'm pretty sure he'll be decent defensively. Maybe nothing crazy, but for sure a bit better, a bit more reliable than early on before he supers, right? And uh, he's probably going to be one of the harder hitting units from this batch, I would say, with the additional attack boosts with each attack performed. So um, the damage, I think, will be quite good. It's just the defense that kind of concerns me with this guy. Okay, moving on. We have the Int Weiss, HP 16,941, attack 15,235, and defense 11,858. Leader skill is going to be AGL, Int, and Viz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, 12 key super, or just once again, super attack, raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 120%, all allies key plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%, realm of gods category allies, attack and defense plus 10%, and chance to perform a critical hit plus 10%, bond of master and disciple categories, uh, category allies attack and defense plus 10% and chance to perform a critical hit plus 10% and then attack and defense plus 60% per realm of gods category ally um, other than this character attacking in the same turn chance to evade attacks including super attacks plus 25% per bond of master and disciple category ally other than this character attacking in the same turn there's a lot going on but uh, the main takeaways uh, I guess would be he's a very very good support unit right he's basically giving key plus 3 attack and defense plus 40% to either realm of gods or bond of master and disciple and if they happen to be in both categories then that's going to be key plus 3 attack and defense plus 50% which is just crazy yeah he's probably I mean I want to say my favorite of all the EZAs but He's up there. He's up there from this batch for sure. So Int Whis looking great. Uh, now let's talk about the Tech Whis. Uh, HP 16,663, Attack 15,340, and Defense 12,165. Uh, leader Skill, AGL, Tech, and STR Types, key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 80%. Uh, super Attack raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%, attack enemies, attack and defense minus 20%, and great chance to stun the attacked enemy, attack and defense plus 60% per realm of gods category ally, other than this character attacking in the same turn, attack and defense plus 60% per bond of master and disciple category ally, other than this character attacking in the same turn. So, uh, some similarities for sure to the Intwist, except this guy is more focused on debuffing the enemy and also uh, attack and defense as opposed to the uh, Intuis, which is more based on support and dodge, I guess. So they're both good. I do think the Intuis is a bit better, but Tech Weiss is also solid. So uh, those are the Weisses. And before we get to the LR, we have one last TUR, which is the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, HP 18,086. 16,010 attack and 10,668 defense. And his leader skill 
is all types keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and passive is keep plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, when HP is 50% or above, performs an additional attack, which has a medium chance to become a super attack, and attack and defense plus 30%, and chance to perform a critical hit plus 30%. When there are two or more enemies, attack and defense plus 70% and chance to perform a critical hit plus 20%. Um, not too much to say here. Uh, I don't like it when enemies have a significant boost locked behind facing multiple enemies because it's not that common of an occurrence, right? For the most part, uh, I would say like 90% of the events in the game, you're facing a single enemy. So... Yeah, like 90% of the time, you're not going to be getting this additional attack and defense plus 70% and 20% crit chance buff. So that's unfortunate, but um, not bad as a whole. So that is the STR Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And last but not least, we have the LR Beerus and Whis. And I left them for last because we already went through their details uh, a couple weeks ago when the Dokkan Now program came out. But in case you guys missed it, here's a quick... Uh, breakdown again. So leader skill is super STR types keep plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, extreme STR types keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and recovers 10% HP. And then 18 key super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and recovers 15% HP. Passive is key plus 7, attack and defense plus 150%, medium chance of performing a critical hit, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70%, and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for 7 turns after receiving an attack. Launches an additional super attack if HP is 70% or less when attacking up to once per turn. So, that is the Beerus and Whis Extreme Z Awakening. Um, as a whole, I think it's very good. I think it's very good. Uh, maybe not like super broken, maybe not on the same level as some other uh, LR Extreme Z Awakenings we've seen recently, but definitely um, good enough in my opinion. So that is the Beerus and Whis, and that is everything I wanted to talk about today. Those are all nine of the uh, Extreme Z Awakenings that will be dropping in under 12 hours from the time you're watching this video. Um, I'll probably do some showcases if I have a chance. Uh, maybe not for all of them because it's just too many, but I'll try my best to uh, showcase as many of them for you guys as possible. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments which one of these Extreme Z Awakenings do you like the best? Do you think is the best out of all nine? And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.